Okay, so we start the next problem. A scheme for storing binary trees in an array x is as follows. Okay, index of x starts at 1 instead of 0. So that is to be noted that index starts at 1. The root is stored at this first index and for any node that is stored at i, the left child is stored as uh, x2i and the right child is stored at x2i plus 1. Okay, to be able to store any binary tree on n vertices, the minimum size of x should be. So, we should be able to store any binary tree, okay. And so, we have to find the minimum size there. How much, how much shy size should we give to this array so that we can store the binary tree. And so, think about this thing. So, suppose you can you can you can think of a binary tree that stores a maximum number of size for this array scheme okay because what is given to us so the important thing out here is that if if xi okay if xi is your parent the left child is stored at x2i okay and the right child is stored at x y plus 1 okay so this is kind of important out here this is important because this will decide that which binary tree will take most space okay so think about this okay think about this thing so this is some array and your root is here uh, so the child of left child of this root will be at 2 times 1 out here the right child of this root will be 2 times 1 plus 1 that is 3 out here okay and the child of this one it will be at 2 times is 4 and 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 like that okay so for this one for this one this is the these are the two children okay left and right and for this one this is the left child and this is the right child so you see that the right child is kind of goes to the extreme okay it goes to the right extreme in this array so if suppose you have a binary tree that has only right children okay so suppose think of a binary tree like this okay there is no left children all it has is right children like this it goes on like this this binary tree so what it will happen what will happen is that so your root will be here okay and then your right child next child will be here at 3 okay and this will be empty and the child of this will be at 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 so it will go somewhere here like 6 and 7 okay so it will be stored here and then the right of this one will be stored at 2 times 7 plus 1 that is uh, 15 okay so so on at the 15th index you will store something like this okay and all these things in between will be wasted that space will be wasted Okay, so you have to accommodate for that. So this tree is going to take maximum space. Okay, and and since we have, we should be able to store any binary tree, if we can store this sort of tree, then we will be able to store any tree. Okay, so how much space will any such tree need? Let's let's talk about that. Okay, this tree with only right children, in which every node has just right children. So any tree of that that sort what will happen okay the, the first the fir the root okay that is i is equal to 1 that is root will need how much space it will need only one okay suppose there are two how much space it will need okay in this case all we needed was this thing okay we stored something here suppose you have two okay and then okay so this was the tree and in this case suppose you have something like this so your root will go here at one and then then your children will go the right child will go at will go like right here okay so the space that you will need is three okay like this so suppose you have three children okay that means you have a tree like this three nodes sorry so how much space will you need then okay the, the space that you will need in that case will be like what okay this is two this is three this is this one suppose this is one two three four five six seven so this is one 
So your root will go here and the children will go here and the children of this will go here 2 times i plus 1 okay 2 3 6 plus 1 7 so this is what you are getting okay so if you want to write if you want to find for n nodes okay for n vertices you want to find okay and you can see what the answer is out here okay it is 2 raised to n minus 1 okay 2 raised to 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1 2 raised to 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3 2 raised to 3 is 8 minus 1 is 7 okay for i is equal to 4 if you will do you will need 15 spaces right because 2 times 7 plus 1 is 15 which is again 2 raised to 4 minus 1 so the answer is 2 raised to n minus 1 you can write it directly like that or if you don't want to do it this way you can you can make a recurrence relation and solve that recurrence relation okay so what will be the recurrence relation that you will you will make in this in this particular case okay so the recurrence relation that that you will make in this particular case will be uh, like this so so the the number of nodes that you need the number of the space that you need okay the size of the array that you need for n nodes will be what for n nodes will be two times the size that you need for n minus one nodes okay n plus one okay this is the the recurrence relation that you will get if you if you try to solve this thing okay and then you can you can solve this and you will end up with a gp okay you can keep on substituting values and you will end up with a geometric progression and which will again give you this thing so you can do it anyway but the answer that you will get is 2 raised to n minus 1